What's up everybody, Pete here from The Sunday Drive. Today we're coming at you with a quick video because we just got finished placing the fuel pump on this G30 M550i and we had a very hard time finding any information about it, so stay tuned. So like I said, we have this G30 M550i behind me. It's a 2018 and the fuel pump went. This is the low pressure fuel pump. It's located on the back right side under the passenger seat. So this is the old one in my hands. We replaced it with a new one and it was very confusing for us because there was not a lot of information about how to replace this fuel pump. BMW went ahead and changed the design of maybe not the fuel pump itself but at least the electrical connections that go to it and when you go to get the replacement fuel pump you cannot get the one that came with this car. They give you the new one and they give you a entire replacement harness. So we just want to show you what we did real quick in case you are faced with this issue. So we have already removed the rear seat, which is very easy to do. You just pull it up and we've taken a lot of the plastics out and the bolsters here. So as you can see, a lot of the wire harness loom is um, exposed. And if you pick up on this material here, you can see the fuel pump. And don't mind this, this module goes to the heated seats. So we need to put that back in the, in the seat. But under this lid is the fuel pump. That's very easy information to find out. Where it gets tricky is the plug on top of this fuel pump is different. So this is the old harness and there's two plugs that go to the fuel pump. The smaller plug goes to a temperature sensor that actually pops out and gets put on the new fuel pump. And then the larger plug with the eight pins um, goes into the lid of the fuel pump. So let me get the fuel pump real quick. So this is the lid of the old fuel pump and as you can see, it fits. The new lid of this entire assembly when you order the new fuel pump still has eight pins, but there are three very wide pins along the bottom and then five pins along the top. This one actually has four pins on the top, four pins on the bottom, and they're all the same thickness or width. So. Um, that's a very slight modification. So the overall plug of the new one is also larger. And this area right here is for the other, the temperature sensor that sits on top of the fuel pump lid. And that gets swapped over, which you can see here. So right now I'm overlaying a picture of the new replacement harness. And as you can see, it looks pretty similar. There are three plugs that look almost identical to the old fuel pump. And then there's this very large plug that we were super confused about where it goes. We tried ripping apart most of the this side of the car and we could not find anywhere that this plug would reach or plug into um, based on how long this harness was when we got it from BMW. Not only were we not able to find it ourselves, but we did consult with a head BMW tech and he confirmed that there was nowhere to plug this into. So that really made us um, kind of question what we're supposed to do with this harness. So it turns out what you need to do is cut the 12 wires over here and Luckily, they're all different colors. There are two green ones that look very similar, but they are different thicknesses. And you will splice that into the new harness. And the new harness will then plug into the EKPS, which is the uh, fuel pump control module. And that plug is identical, so all these wires do plug into the same pins, which is good, so we don't have to do any repinning there. We also have this ground strap, so don't forget to install that with the new harness. And then you just have to plug in the new plug to the new fuel pump. So I'm gonna overlay the part numbers for the old fuel pump and the new fuel pump so that you know which one supersedes which. And even though it says it's compatible, there is some wiring that you need to do. But don't get too worried about it. It's not as daunting as it seems. So when you order this replacement wiring harness and fuel pump from BMW, they're gonna give you a lot of extras. Um, not all of them will be applicable. All you're gonna really need are the butt connectors that you're going to crimp on and the heat shrink that will also seal the connection. So we'll have something linked below that will work for the crimping. And that's pretty much the only special tool you'll need to get the job done. Um, just so you know how much we cut off of the new harness. So this is the replacement harness that we got from BMW. I'd say this is about a foot from the very large plug that we um, cut. And I did that so that I have a lot of extra wire um, to play around with and, and the car runs perfectly fine. If you cut anywhere else in the harness, you might have to cut through this like shielded cable and you don't, want to, you don't really want to mess with that. So now, like I said, this is a 2018. I don't know when the BMW switched over to the new fuel pump and I'm not sure exactly 
um, how long this replacement fuel pump will be used, if it goes into the 2019 model year or not. But I do know that the 2020 model year has an entirely different model number for the fuel pump. So that one might not be compatible at all. Um, but otherwise, yeah, if you found this video to be helpful, please give us a big like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.